Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl Alondra coming back you guys again with another video. Today, I am joined here by my friend Pam. Hi, Pam is Filipina. I've been reading a lot of you your guys' comments, especially from my Filipino followers. A lot of you guys have been telling me that Filipino stories are scary, and I feel like all we've been doing is Mexican scary stories, and so I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So I asked Pam to join me, and she was down, thankfully. <laughs> so now she's here. I remember way back when I was in the Philippines, apparently my elementary school, which I will not say the name, I used to be a cemetery like way back like during the war or something I heard there's a lot of like some paranormal paranormal stuff going on there I think I told you about the bathroom one where like we were walking we were passing by the bathroom mm. and like we heard someone crying but then but there was no one there there was no one in the bathroom ew that's yeah, crazy it was, yeah there was a girl crying in the girl's bathroom but but there wasn't but there wasn't yeah the school that i go to like a lot of people say that it's haunted i already told you this but i'm gonna tell you guys my brother my older brother actually used to go to the school that i go to and he was part of the choir team and when you join a sport at my school you basically stay at school practicing until late like really late so like 9 p.m which honestly isn't a problem to us because if I'm being honest, I would rather be at practice than to be at home, even though it does suck sometimes, but like, I'd rather be at practice. There's actually an abandoned building at my school that no one uses. They say that it's because there was once a really huge earthquake, so like the floor cracked. But like, I low-key don't buy that because like, only the janitors go in there. Oh. Only the janitors. And like, they said that that used to be a movie theater. Uh -huh. So I'm just like, like they don't even want to show us the inside. Like, can't y'all just open the door, not let us in, but let us see? Yeah. Anyways, my brother said that him and his like choir friends were passing by there after practice one day. It was like really late, and cause it's like in like the area where like the lockers are at. So he was passing by there with his friends, and that they just saw someone walking around there, but like not a human being, you know. But like it's not hard to sneak into my school i already told you this yeah. but it is like at my school there's like secure there's literally police on campus every single day because i'm looking in the ghetto but some kind of security. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and like i feel like the only people there really late are the janitors so for my brother and his friends to have seen that like they were even trying to talk to the guy like hey like are, do you need any help and he just wasn't looking at them like he was walking towards the building like mm -hmm. yeah the building that was abandoned and i think they even said that they saw him go through the building really yeah oh my god so like that's great you know like who who can go through a building can you yeah. go through a building can i no like none of us can go through a building unless mm -hmm. you are not part of this world about a year ago me and my friends like dumbasses we were playing hide and seek at the school and, and it was okay it was actually after a performance that i had at the school so it, it was just me and my friends running around right after my performance. It was late at night and I don't know why we thought it was it would be funny to hide in like the abandoned building. Oh, no. So like we hid around I there. No. And like we thought because okay, it was hide and seek. So like obviously one person goes and seeks, like the rest. Right? That's how it works. Or tag. I don't know. But like basically hide and seek one person counts and then the rest time yeah right yeah exactly exactly yeah you don't know how to play hide no yeah but like i'm just like because I, I don't you know what fam i do not come here to get attacked it was me and like two of my other friends we were hiding and we swear we heard like the person the seeker coming towards us so we were like fuck like we got caught you know like he already found us like we're gonna oh, shoot we're gonna get tagged you know like my friend is like there's no one there and i was like what and so like we checked and there was no one and we were like okay like let's just hide here still and like we swear we like kept on hearing like footsteps get getting closer oh, and closer no, no. but there was no one and so then like when the game was finally over we asked like the person who was the seeker we were like hey did you go near that building at all they were like no like i would they said that they were like in the quad area and like the quad area is like far away from like that abandoned building at my school mm. so they were like I no, I stayed in this area only. Oh shoot. So we were like, what the fuck? You kids are great. I know. <laughs> Schools at night are so creepy. I uh. call her a kid because she's way younger than I am. <laughs> yeah. Can you guys guess how old I am? 
No. Guys, say down in the comments <laughs> below how old you think she is. I'm like way older. She's way older. Well, we'll leave that to a mystery. That, we that, had a realization mystery. earlier that I told her that like in five years she'll be this age and I'm this yeah. age and I'm like, wait. She's like already gonna be decomposing. <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm, kidding, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. At my elementary school, actually, I had to use the restroom, and like I don't know why I was always scared to go to the restroom by myself at my elementary school. But one day that I did go by myself, I was like using the restroom, right? No shit, doing my business, and I literally heard like a little girl crying. Yeah, and I was like, what the heck? And like I'm the type of person to like check up on you even if I don't know you. So yeah. like when I finished doing what I was doing, I checked all the stalls, and there was no one. And I was like, what the heck? So I like, you know, started washing my hands. And as I'm walking out, I start hearing like slamming on the toilet. Oh no. Like as if someone was like banging on like the walls, like the stalls, you know? I ran back to class and like, I didn't tell anyone what had happened because like, I was just a child. Who's gonna believe me, especially the teachers. I hate the teachers from that school. Not really, kinda. I went to the bathroom, like keep in mind, I was like in second grade. Like the school in the Philippines, I guess it's kind of different from the school here. So like I went yeah. to the bathroom by myself and then um, everyone's in class. So, like, mm -hmm. Everyone's in class, you know, doing their business and stuff. And I went to the bathroom and I was doing my business. And then I heard someone open like one of the stalls. You were by then, yourself like, in the restroom, right? Yeah, usually the bathroom door is open. Yeah. Like the, the main door, yeah, I think uh -huh. it's open. And so like, I didn't mind just because like, oh I guess mm -hmm. another student like over there. Yeah. But then like, someone opened the door. But then when I came out, there was no one in the bathroom. Oh, and I was no. like, they decided not to go to the bathroom. <laughs> like, they're like, oh I don't feel it anymore, let me go back to class or something like that. I didn't really think about it. Yeah. Like, how if it's just some like, yeah. other student or whatever. I kind of didn't want to think it was paranormal. Because <laughs> I've never really experienced uh -huh, it. Yeah. I don't want to <laughs> you're so lucky though that like and i hope that you never have to experience like really paranormal things like mm -hmm. have you ever had a sleep paralysis no but i do get those like jolts they were saying that if you get those <laughs> jolts it means you're dying when like you kind of feel like you're falling and then out of nowhere you just have jolts no like i that. get you yeah and they were saying that that's like your time like where like you're dying and then suddenly like you're like oh it's not your time yet or like yeah you just jolt like yeah. back to life <laughs> it happened to me so many times i'm like no did i die like for a few no. seconds and then back to life like it happens to me like every week you're not dying yet pam you're not gonna die yet sorry <laughs> <laughs> no but like i kept seeing it on tiktok you know what like, the heck tiktok be coming up with the craziest shit they're like, like psychology facts if this happens to you it means they're dying and then Damn, I must, I must be dying every time I nap then because <laughs> yeah, I literally so wake up from my nap like, like and it's <laughs> so like, it was oh. like out of nowhere. But yeah. then the thing is, like, you know how like sometimes you would wake up at like 3 a.m. and you're like out of nowhere and they were saying that it's because someone's watching you. Oh my god, I saw that. And, then, and like there was one time where I just kept waking up at exactly oh, at 3 no, a.m. Uh -uh. And like I would think like oh like I've probably been sleeping for like two hours or whatever mm -hmm. it was only like 11 but then like for like a whole week I've been consecutively waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning like for no reason like I just woke up Wait was this recent or like oh, a no, while it was ago? Like a while oh ago, okay but, like at 3 o'clock in the morning? Like they That's were saying that like someone's watching you but then I'm like wait I'm alone in yeah, the dark like, I don't want to have that thought in my head I don't want to have that thought so I just go back to sleep Yeah but every time like, I kept seeing it, like someone, someone's watching you and stuff, and I'm like, who's watching me? <laughs> Leave me alone, Jamie. Oh hell no. Yeah. So back in my hometown, there's this haunted house called the Red House. How do you say it in Tagalog? It's called Bahay na Pula. Bahay is house, <laughs> and Pula is red. So the Red House, Bahay na Pula. Oh okay. So it's literally the Red it's House. It's literally yeah. the Red House, and. Uh, when I was in the Philippines, we would always pass by it and it's just like that one house like in the middle of like grassy land yeah. like, so, like there's the road and there's like the grassy area and then there's that one house Ew, that's there. so creepy And like the thing is it is red Scary like especially passing by there at night yeah. It kind of gives you that like heavy vibe Yeah Just because there's a lot of people that died there Oh what the And fuck? it was built during the World War II Apparently a lot of women were raped in that area 
and they were killed in that area in that house why haven't they gotten rid of that house like um, they said that they preserved it i think for his like historical purposes i'm surprised i've never heard of the red house so many things that were not written in the history book yeah to all the filipinos there please like don't mm -hmm. quote me on anything just because I yeah, don't really know yeah the whole story it's just from what i heard and yeah though i lived in that province or in that city i don't really know much because yeah. i don't live there anymore i don't know if there's anyone that lived there yeah. ever after yeah. world war ii <laughs> i don't understand who would <laughs> like <laughs> that's sad like you know those like american movies were like oh my gosh a cheap house like in the middle of nowhere yeah and oh my god like, those live there because yeah. you know it's nice but it's haunted like i would how naive can you be no. it's cheap for a reason <laughs> and it's always like the big houses too always the big like house. where are you gonna find a huge house like that for cheap like you know like, like the antiques was like you know those old uh -huh. like buildings why would you want to live there yeah it's not even cute like, i don't want to guys live there. don't be like those people don't be moving into houses that you find in the middle of the nowhere just because they're huge doesn't make it a home it's cheap for a reason and not a good reason not a good reason though. it's never a good reason my house is probably haunted but i'm not sure <laughs> lately i have been hearing a lot of noises and yubi hears them too so that's how i know that i'm not tripping like yeah like yesterday i was home alone for a while i had just gotten home from i don't know where i i'm always somewhere so i had you just always yeah i had just gotten home from somewhere and it was just me and Yubi and I still hadn't gone upstairs to my room so I was just like on the table on my phone and like I started hearing like a lot of things coming from upstairs in my room my room specifically I knew I wasn't tripping because Yubi came running to like where the stairs are at and he just like looked up as if he was waiting oh, for someone no, no. yeah <laughs> no and like Yubi always gets really excited when like someone's gonna come down the stairs and he's downstairs because like it's either me, my sister, or my older brother that's coming downstairs. But when he realizes that there's no one, he will come near me and like he will not get away from me. Have you um, seen anything? Or I've seen way too much. Honestly, I feel really? like I have. I remember one spring break, I was up late texting one of my friends. I was Snapchatting them. And like what me and my old friend used to do is like we would Snapchat by like taking a picture of something and then like, you know, putting our message on there and like sending it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I was actually sleeping at my sister's old apartment, the old apartment that she used to live in. Mm -hmm. And I was sleeping in her room and my niece and nephew were sleeping in their room. But my sister's room is like dark. Like it was really dark, right? So I took a picture of like, cause I left the door open cause like I was too scared to sleep in like her dark ass room. So I left the door open so that some of the, because she leaves like the kitchen light on. So that, so that the reflection of that like, could like come a little bit into the room, not too much, but a little. And so I took a picture of like the view of like that I got from like outside the door. And I literally saw my niece's face like, but she was asleep. But like, no way. in the picture, it was her face. No. I remember I was so scared. I, if I can find the picture, I'll insert it on here. I have it in my Snapchat memories. You saved it? Yeah. But I don't have Snapchat on my phone right now, but oh, okay. now that I got a new phone, okay. I, can, I can, you know. She got a new phone. I got a new phone today, guys. <laughs> Off topic, but I got a new, <laughs> she phone. Got a new phone. I will be opening it once I get home and setting it up. But I didn't want to be one of like those dumbasses that like gets out of the room to check what's going on because oh, you know I something always ends up happening yeah i would not do that but for the sake of my niece because i was like i don't want anything near her you know i like went to go check on her and she was like knocked out like completely knocked out so i looked back at the picture and i was like what the fuck and like the and the picture her face looked like no like as if she had seen something that she shouldn't have seen or something oh and God, i was no. like yeah i was freaking out i didn't tell her but like the next morning i was like hey savannah her name's savannah i was like by any chance like were you up late last night like just making sure like i know i saw her in her bed and everything but like just you know wanting to make sure and she was like no why and i was like did you have a bad dream and she was like no why and i was like I'm just making sure and like i showed it to my mom and like she was like freaking out too and in that apartment of my sisters 
it was horrible like i always felt like someone was watching me every break that i get from school like spring break winter break summer break i usually go to my sister's house apartment in san bernardino and like i'll babysit her kids i would like let them go outside and play and i'd be alone in like the apartment you know doing mom duties even though i'm not their mom but you know i would always feel like something was watching me from my sister's room and my sister's room was like in the corner and it's like so dark even if like there's so much light in the room it's so dark in there and so like i always felt that someone was watching me like if i was sitting in the living room watching tv i would keep on constantly like checking behind me to make sure that no one was there because i always felt like someone was watching me and i actually remember one night i slept in my niece's room mm -hmm. and my niece and my nephew slept in their mom's room which aka my sister's room because she was home from work so like it was uh, my sister uh and her two kids in her room and i was alone in my niece's room and i remember i was listening to music and then out of nowhere my it just stopped and like it didn't want to start and i was like okay <laughs> okay yeah. you know and before that i was actually having thoughts like i swear to god i don't want anything to happen tonight like i don't want to deal with any of that tonight so then i like tried falling back asleep you know like i took off my earphones and i was like okay like let's just try to fall asleep and then i started hearing like footsteps no. walking toward me and i was like fuck, fuck, fuck. No. like i'm so scared and inside my niece's room she has a bathroom and like she would constantly leave the door open so i was like and it's like dark in there so i would be like too scared to like go and close it yeah so i heard footsteps and i was like oh hell no and like i wouldn't stop hearing them so like i went to my sister's room to check if they were all asleep and all of them were knocked out so i went back to my niece's room oh, yeah sleep, so yeah walking. exactly and so i turned on the tv in my niece's room and i put on family guy because i was like let me put on okay, something funny something you know funny, something Bitch. as i'm falling asleep family guy just starts glitching and then out of nowhere no. and out of nowhere it goes beep like it was just like a loud ass beep and i was so scared and i was like no lord like please stop 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 please not <laughs> not today live. not I today live. i, I know live. like i'm sorry and um i tried turning it off with the remote and it wouldn't turn off so i just like had to unplug it all like that's kind of like the, the ring Ew. <laughs> I just see Family Guy pop out of there. Oh, no. oh hell no. You see yeah. just the girl? The uh, oh my gosh. I'd be like... <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> um, but yeah. And I remember like I would always ask my niece like... In your room, did you ever feel something like coming from your restroom? Because her restroom was creepy. She said no, but then one day my nephew came to me and he was like... I don't want to tell anyone this because I don't feel like anyone would believe me. But I know you've had experiences in our apartment. And he told me he was like... Last night as I was trying to fall asleep in my room, I heard like my shower curtain moving. Oh, shit. And I was no. like, baby boy, you're gonna need to get out of there. And then out of nowhere, like they got evicted from that apartment. So, like, now they're living in a new apartment. Thank God. It's so yeah. No. Yeah, I walked into her new apartment. I was like, this apartment's good. Because I don't know, my first time ever walking into her old apartment, I just felt a, you, you, yeah, you felt I felt a vibe. Yeah, like yeah. the energy d was not sitting right with me. Yeah. But I just never said anything because I was like, maybe it's just like me being so into like paranormal things and all that that I'm just like, I feel like everything's following me like everywhere. But then I was like, like after all those experiences that I had in her apartment, I was like, nah, no, there's no way that there is not something here. So I'm glad yeah. that they're no longer living in that That's apartment. Good. Well, those were all the stories for tonight, guys. My battery is dying. Make sure you guys follow Pam on Instagram. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, so my outro is like this. Oh. And then you take it to the camera. Oh. Okay, so. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.